Um, so, I don't even know where to begin. I'm making this video on a very impromptu schedule just because I just got home from New York about an hour ago and I also figured I wanted to catch you guys up on a lot of things that have just been happening and changing around my life so I figured this would be a good time to do it. I wanted to talk about a bunch of the new things that I have been getting into recently and just talk about why they matter to me, why they should matter to you if you are kind of in the mood or mindset to learn something different and I wanted to just bring it up because I remember the last video I made was about sustainability and it was a zero waste haul from the store package free, which if you guys aren't aware, it's based in Brooklyn. I wanted to just talk about the different things that I've been using lately. We can honestly just start off with talking about zero waste. I know that a lot of people tend to get frustrated when they hear this term because zero waste essentially means absolutely no garbage, zero percent. And if we look at anybody, absolutely anybody who's living in America or I honestly don't think you have to live in a certain place to understand the fact that zero waste is not possible. Would basically mean you'd have to live off of the grid. The tools that are given to humans just as part of society and as part of just being a regular person, they're tools that cannot be easily disposed of. It's very hard to go completely 100% zero waste if you live in a society that demands that you buy groceries and demands that you have a car for transportation because that's gonna make your carbon footprint higher and all these different factors that contribute to not being able to completely limit yourself to zero percent. When people say this term, they're kind of gently throwing around the zero waste term as a motivator. It's not supposed to be actually, oh yeah, I, I say that I'm following this lifestyle and I produce zero waste. That's not how it is. I do produce waste and it is a human thing. That's what humans do. We take stuff in, we do what our body does with those things, and then once once our body's done with it, say, say you have a new lipstick or a new piece of new makeup product that you really like, and it's not recyclable. Once you start using it, once you wear it for, I don't know, a couple months, and then you run out of it, once your body's done using it, someone's texting me, eh, okay. Once you're done with that, and if it is not recyclable, like a lot, most makeup products, probably maybe, Five, I'm not even, I'm totally guessing on this, probably only 5% of makeup products or makeup companies actually think about the, the end life of their products when they put them out into the world for use. This is a Kylie Cosmetics lipstick. Not to blame Kylie's company in particular or anything, just makeup companies in general tend to not think about the afterlife of their products and once I'm done with this, it's going straight in the garbage. And what does that do? It sends it to a landfill, and so on and so forth. I know I'm not the first to say this. Zero waste as a term does not mean completely zero waste because that's just not possible. For anyone who could get offended, all it means is just trying your best to limit your, your personal impact on waste. And I think that is what most people tend to try to achieve. Next, I want to talk about a subject that um, living this lifestyle, you have to change a lot of different things about your life. So I'm gonna tell you guys why I changed. For the past three years, I've mentioned in so many videos, I can mention it again in more videos, I have worked at Hollister. And Hollister is a company that produces new clothing, and I can tell you from working in the back of that store, in the front of that store, on the cashier side, any part. I have had so much of a role in that store since I've been there for the past three years, I think. It's been, it's been since junior year of high school and now I'm gonna be junior in college so it might even be four years by now anyway I don't know I've lost track I've been working there for a long time but the thing that you have to realize when you start this lifestyle and also one thing that I definitely want you guys to keep in mind is that in no way shape or form am I trying to say here is every tool that you need to live this lifestyle go out and do it for yourself because that's not my that's not my job that's not my responsibility and I don't want to be someone who tells you you have to live a certain way. You live in whichever way you feel is beneficial to you, and that's that. Developing this new habit and this new want to live this lifestyle, I've realized that the clothing company is such a big part in, of the environmental crisis, and I know there are a lot of parts, like for example, consuming meat and consuming 
animal products in general. That is a huge part of the carbon footprint that is only going to get bigger if people don't stop eating meat. And I'm also not saying don't, I'm not saying, oh hey, you should stop eating meat. But clothing is such a huge part of what goes in our landfills and fast fashion. I'll put the definition of fast fashion right on the screen here. Editing Jamie, you do that. To give you guys a little background or I guess a story, if you will, Fast fashion is what happens when, I will, I'll use what's currently fashionable right now. So biker shorts are fashionable right now. Fast fashion is when you say, oh, everyone's wearing biker shorts. I want biker shorts. Shorts are the, the newest thing for fast fashion. So once that fades, I don't know, once winter comes and, and biker shorts are no longer in season, they're no longer cool, what are you gonna do with them? You don't need them anymore because they're not trendy anymore. So you'd probably donate them or you would Honestly, some people even throw them out if they get stains or if they don't, I don't know, if they aren't connected with a place to donate them to. All of this clothing that could have such a bigger life or could even be made into some different things, it all gets thrown out and it ends up in landfill. It takes a lot of water and a lot of energy to even make one t-shirt. So what I've started doing is, yeah. Um, yeah, in a little, in 10 minutes. I've started shopping secondhand. And if you guys aren't familiar with that term, which I'm sure pretty much most or all of you are familiar with that, secondhand is either buying something, no, it, it is buying something. Secondhand is buying something that used to belong to someone else. Shopping secondhand, I've realized, is so much better for the environment. The only thing is, the site that, and oof, I wish Poshmark were sponsoring this video, the site that I love to do all my secondhand shopping on is Poshmark because it has, you can type in the item you want and then you can go by whichever brand you want. So I think some people also mistake secondhand shopping for, oh, I have to buy something from like the 1900s or the 1980s and that's not true. There are so many pieces of clothing that have been used and people want more clothing so they don't use those pieces of clothing anymore, so they have to sell them online or do whatever to get rid of them from their own closets. So there are so many pieces from Pink, Victoria's Secret, um, Brandy Melville, wherever you shop, Abercrombie, people don't shop at Abercrombie anymore. It's absolutely everything you can need on that app, and it's all from stores that are popular. So what I do is I'll just go through if I happen to need something and I will give it a like and then you can also make an offer to people. That way the price you're paying for the item is lower. Different tools in order to do secondhand shopping. You can go to Goodwill, you can go to any thrift stores near you and those are all really great opportunities to stop telling the producers of the fashion industry, hey, we need more clothing, because we don't. We are overloaded on clothing. We don't need any more. So that's just something to keep in mind. I just wanted to fill you guys in on where I've been, what, what my stance is on the whole zero waste movement, and if you guys wanted to, I don't know, talk about anything, um, I'm always here on my Twitter, my Instagram, anything you guys want to talk about, Snapchat, you can always leave me a DM and we can talk. And you can also leave any comments that you want talking about this because I know it's a super new thing that I've been doing on my channel but um, I'd love to incorporate this topic into my other videos so that is that and I will talk to you guys next time I'll talk to you guys in my new vlog and I will see you guys later bye